Hey guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been a little while since I posted a video. I'm sorry about that. Thanks for being patient. I've had a busy couple weeks, but I'm getting back on track now. I have some cool stuff planned. This is gonna be a pretty short video. I just wanna talk about one plant today, uh, but I do have a proper update video in the works and a couple cool like tutorials and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. But I thought today we would just do a quick little video to get back in the swing of things. I have a catacetum that's been acting really strangely that I wanted to uh, show off to you guys and see if you have any input. I know there's gotta be some catacetum experts out there watching, so I'd love to hear what you have to say about this weird catacetum because I'm kind of stumped, but first I wanted to show off a couple of my reptiles. In my last couple videos, I've been including them and showing them off to you guys, which has been really fun and I think you guys have really been enjoying it. So uh, we're just gonna check out my reptile room real quick and then I wanna show you guys this catacetum. So let's go ahead and get started. Here is my beautiful veiled chameleon named Prometheus and we're gonna give him a quick snack. Today we are giving him a delicious canned cricket. Typically we feed him live food, but these canned insects are good to have on hand because they're just easy, you can keep them in the fridge or whatever, you don't have to worry about keeping live bugs. But yeah, I thought we would just continue the tradition of showing off my reptiles in my videos too, so today I thought we would say hi to Prometheus, my veiled chameleon, who is currently in shed, so he's looking a little, a little rough, but his skin will clear up when he's done shedding. Oh, what the hell, let's say hi to my python as well. He just looked so extra cute, curled up on top of his perch. Snakes just look so beautiful and majestic. Another name for ball pythons is Royal Python. I think that's a fitting name because they are just so beautiful. The cutest little face on these guys, I love them so much. That's Casper, my ball python. If you guys think you can handle watching me feed him, I will definitely do that in a future video. And I feed him pre-killed uh, frozen thawed mice, so it's uh, somewhat less, uh, less cruel and, and violent feeding process than if it were live prey item. So let me know if you're interested. It's pretty cool to watch him eat. All right guys, here it is. This is a catacetinae type orchid. It is a Fred Clark Yara Midnight Lace Cross Catacetum Frilly Doris. This is from Sunset Valley Orchids. It's one of Fred Clark's hybrids. Uh, he is the guy for catacetums. He has some really cool ones, and this was one of the first catacetums I ever got. I've had it for a couple years now, and it's bloomed for me a few times, but the flowers never open all the way. Uh, the few times I've bloomed it, the flowers always remain almost entirely closed. In addition to that, uh, they always sort of point straight down like this, whereas typically they would sort of correct themselves and uh, face forward a little bit. It's kind of normal for orchid flowers to hang like that. Um, some of them do have that blooming habit, but a lot of catacetums, um, especially one like this that is a um, catacetum and uh, Fred Clark Yara hybrid, they tend to have a really nice flat open flower. Uh, the Frilly Doris definitely has a very nice structured flower. So I'm inclined to think that this isn't normal. It's definitely not supposed to bloom this way. So I'm wondering why it's done it a couple of years in a row now. When it first happened, I wasn't that concerned because, you know, every once in a while you kind of have a bum flower spike. It's, you know, kind of normal. But for it to happen two years in a row is a little strange. And it's, it's really a shame because the flowers look like they're pretty cool looking. It might look like it's just green. Oop, we've already uh, discharged some some pollen there. It might look like a pretty solid green, but it's actually got these 
really nice kind of reddish uh, freckles throughout. So the flowers would be really cool if they would open up properly. So the other thing that's kind of strange, I can tell this, this isn't normal because typically the flowers open starting from the top here and this one will open and this one will open and that one will open all the way down. But for the flower that's furthest down the spike to open first and the most out of all of them is pretty strange. And I just feel like someone else must have experienced something like this. See, there's two spikes. This one's even worse. These ones barely opened at all. And you can see what I mean here about the, the way they hang down, whereas they should sort of correct themselves and point up. But this is pretty weird, and you know, I've grown catacetums for you know a few years now, and I find them to be really easy growing, easy blooming. I know how to grow catacetums for the most part. Um, I wouldn't say I'm an expert necessarily, but they're not hard for me. I do pretty well with them most of the time, so this is kind of strange. The only thing I can think of maybe is that it's still just kind of a, a young plant that doesn't have a lot of strength in its pseudo bulbs yet. The bulbs are kind of small and skinny. Um, it probably needs a repot. I wouldn't say this is my healthiest catacetum, but at the same time, I would think that if it has the strength and energy to produce two spikes like this, why shouldn't it have the energy to actually support those flowers and, and open them? So it's pretty weird, and I wanted to get you guys' opinion. I feel like someone else must have noticed something like this before, so um, please let me know if this is something you've seen before and if there's anything I can do. I would really like to actually get a decent display on this thing one day, so um, thank you so much for watching. I have some better videos coming, but I just wanted to get your opinion on this. It's been kind of bugging me, and I haven't really found any answers about it online yet. I may just email Sunset Valley Orchids as well. Um, Fred Clark's a great guy. I've uh, dealt with him before when I've had questions. So um, yeah, I just wanted to put the call out there to some of you guys and see if you had any info on this for me. But um, thanks again for watching. Like I said, I have some new videos planned, so those will be coming out soon. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to all the new subscribers. I am so excited that so many people are subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you would. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Toothless. Why are you making so much noise when I'm trying to film a YouTube video? Why you do that? You're a bad dragon. Bad dragon. Bad. Just kidding, I love you.